Jesus said he's the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except for a holy God, the Son, Jesus Christ. He died on the cross to set us free of our sins. The Bible says you must repent or else you will perish in your unrighteous. Cry out to his beloved Son, Jesus, and have life. Jesus can set you free. One guilt. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. We come here early in the gospel. Liars and thieves, adulterers, homosexuals. Do not enter the kingdom of God. Born of God. Repent today and have life to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Evolution, evolution is alive. Read your Bible. No, no. Cry out to God. I'm here to love you, to warn you. I'm here to warn you of the wrath of God. Because I love you to tell you the truth. Jesus Christ can set you free. You can be free indeed. You don't have to be deceived by evolution, the Catholic Church. Jesus can set you free. You can have life. King. You can be born again today and have life. Jesus can set you free. Have life through Jesus Christ. Christ Jesus died to set the captives free. The wage of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life. Jesus Christ our Lord. Turn. Alright. 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believes on him is not condemned, but he that believes not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that does evil hates the light, neither comes to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that does the truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they be wrought in God. In the book of Hebrews 9.27, And as it is appointed for a man to die once, but after this the judgment, we've all got an appointment with God. I know many of you are young, and you think you have your whole lives ahead of you, but the scriptures also tell us that our lives are but a vapor. That's here for one moment and gone the next. We're not guaranteed tomorrow, friends. Oh. Internet porn, lying, cheat, premarital sex, these things will all be in the lake of fire. God's repentant for your trust in Jesus Christ as an only faithful Savior. All who trust in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and repent and God will be saved. God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world. Jesus said, Behold, now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Now, we're not promised tomorrow, folks. That's why we come out here to tell you, young people. I don't know if they're teaching in your schools evolution, but there is a God that we're all going to stand before, because we're all without excuse, the scriptures say, because we suppress the truth and unrighteousness. There is a God. Are you guys ready to meet God on judgment there? Are you forgiving your sins? Are you sinning all the way? You're a Christian? That's God, man. Spread the word. Tell other people. Tell other people the good news. So the gospel isn't about condemnation. The gospel means the good news. The condemnation is that while we're in sin, the wrath of God abides upon us. You need to turn to the only one who can save your souls from the wrath to come. Flee from the wrath to come. The scriptures tell us this. The Bible says there is only one mediator between God and man, the man Jesus Christ. What are you putting your hope in today? Is it your own self-centered ways? Jesus Christ said he is the way to life. No man comes to the Father but by him. No man comes to the Father but by him. We come out here in love. God is not willing that any should turn. We have a day that we're going to stand before God. Could it be today? Are you ready to go when it's time? 
Are you all ready? Are you ready to meet your God? What does say? Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Which means that none of us are righteous, the scriptures tell us. We're not righteous enough to stand before a holy God. Are your sins washed? Ladies, are your sins washed away today by the blood of Jesus Christ? They are so bad. Only by the blood of Jesus Christ that you have to get the sin and remission. He can give you a new heart. Because he says he will take that heart and stone out of you. Thank God, thank God. Trust me, go, 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 go. Today is the day of salvation, folks. Flee from the wrath of God. None of us are going to be able to stand on that day. We're going to have to be One second, guys, I'm sorry. 